Bounding into comics, the Lord of the Rings, the Rings of Power actors confirm show aims to erase Tolkien's work for the sake of modernity. Holy crap! Yes, I had to say something about this. I know this is not my regular release day, but I had to say this. I had to show this. I had to talk about this article because of the pushback I have received on my most recent Lord of the Rings video. The one about the trailer being woke because nothing is sacred. Why do I have to respond to this sort of thing? Well, the, these are the comments that I got on that video. Tolkien states in his letters that Numenaria culture took inspiration from an ancient North African civilization. Engage brain. And the powerful woman is Galadriel, dude. A legitimate powerful woman in Tolkien's book. The only points you made in this video are didn't read the books, the trailer isn't actually that woke, and three question mark, question mark, question mark. Uh, yeah, those are not points to be made here. The one about the Numenarian culture being inspired by an ancient North African culture. Okay, North Africa is not freaking black, stupid. It's Caucasian, stupid. And also the engaged brain part. Ignorance of something does not mean that I'm not thinking. Ignorance of something means I don't know about something. That's all. Furthermore, the inspiration for that culture comes out of a, a part of the world where there are no white people. Doesn't mean then that that new culture that's based on that old culture would not be inhabited by white people only stupid and this guy down here about how oh yeah your, your three points are you didn't read the book the trailer isn't actually woke and question mark question mark question mark uh yeah those are not the three points that i made watch the freaking video i made the point that hey look the the trailer is really woke there's a lot gonna be a lot of black people in ancient europe which just didn't happen i'm sorry i don't know what to tell you you're stupid that was the main point if you didn't get that then go back and watch the video again and stop being stupid so here we go. We have the evidence right here in this article that they're trying to make this stuff work. They're trying to erase white people. They're trying to erase Tolkien's work. Let's go and take a look at the article here. Lord of the Rings, the Rings of Power actors, completely stripped away any kind of facade that might have been built for the Prime Video series that it would be faithful to Tolkien's literary work. First sentence. First sentence. And instead, they made it abundantly clear that the show is dedicated to modernity in spite of Tolkien's work and his clear criticisms of it. Yep. Mm -hmm. You see here we got the, the black female dwarf because, you know, you know, even even if, hey, this was this was a, a representation of say a time in Europe in the past. You mean when it was illegal for black people to marry white people? At that time? <sighs> Sophia Nombet, who plays Princess Disa in the show, spoke to PA Media where she claimed she is the face of a necessary redress of balance. No, there is no necessary redress of balance that needs to happen now. It's already happened. The redress of balance has been going on for generations now. It's done. We did it. Don't you watch TV? As I stated before, the Cosby Show. The Jeffersons. Hey, there's a show that I used to watch when I was a kid. The Jeffersons was all about black people. There was the one with uh, Rhett Fox where he played a junk man. He was a black dude. The show was all about black people. Uh, what was the one with um, something Rock or the guy's name was Rock? I don't remember. But it was, again, a black. There's all these shows out there that are like black cast or primarily black cast or almost all black cast. All the time. This is the case. And nobody says, oh, it's, it's just a redress of power. Oh, this is it's about time. Oh, it's just, it's, it's the most amazing thing ever, don't you know? These people and they're having black people on the screen, they're so good. They're such wonderful people. Nobody has said that until until like the last 10 years. Now all of a sudden it's like, oh, we, there's been, there hasn't been black people in TV ever. This is the first time ever. <laughs> black people have been part of our society for a million years and yet we've never seen them on TV. In spite of the fact that what you're seeing actually is Hispanic people are getting the short end of the stick. Hispanic people are not represented on the, on the big screen. Hispanic people are like... 19% of the population, 20% of the population, maybe they're even more than that, 30% of the population. I don't remember now, I haven't looked at those statistics in a while. But they're a much bigger percentage of the population than black people, yet you never see them on screen. Like, you rarely ever will see a black, uh, Hispanic person on screen. The other show is George Lopez. That, that's a show that is featuring almost all Hispanic people. Okay, there's other shows too. But this is the exception, not the rule. And I don't know, are there Hispanic people in this Lord of the Rings show? I don't think there are, maybe. She went on to detail, we are redressing the balance within the film and television television industry. And of course, this franchise, and I hope lots of franchises moving forward. Put white people in Black Panther. Put them in Black Panther. That doesn't change the character. You know, you can't, you gotta, you're gonna change the characters. If you put white people in Black Panther, there's no white people in Africa. There's no black people in ancient Europe. What the hell? 
this is the same thing oh, I was talking about with my students in the other video when I was talking about how my students are like, oh, it doesn't change the character. It doesn't change the character. You can make them whatever race you want to. It's fine. When you change Black Panther, you're changing the character because he comes from Black Africa. They didn't say Black Africa, mind you. They said Africa. These people, this this time period, white Europe. But it's okay. It's okay when we do it to white people. It's not okay when we do it to black people. These are the best people for the roles. But what we've done is open up the doors for people of all backgrounds to come forward and to have the opportunity to rise. She lied. Yeah, these are the best people. That's that's good that you wrote that she lied right there. I'm not. It says that in the article. She lied. These are the best people for the role. Are you sure about that? You sure? I wouldn't make a better Hobbit than any of these people. A better Harfoot than any of these people. I think I would. I'm about as tall as one. Namvet then made it abundantly clear that show has nothing to do with Tolkien's work other than the name of the series and characters. Then why are you doing it? Why not make generic prime fantasy? I have no problem with it. Look, you know what's based on Tolkien's work that I absolutely adore? At least the setting of it is Dungeons and Dragons. The game itself is garbage, honestly. I mean, if you want to play a role-playing game, don't play D&D. Trust me. If you're playing D&D, there's so many other games that are better than D&D. <laughs> Pathfinder is the same story. Pathfinder is basically just D&D light. It's stupid. I love the setting of Dungeons and Dragons. It's amazing. It's awesome. Love it. All of them that they've done, I enjoy. Dark Sun, Ravenloft... Spelljammer, Greyhawk, Forgotten Realms, all that stuff. If you know what I'm talking about, then you understand that I'm saying that I enjoy something that has absolutely nothing to do with the game, but it has to do with a medieval fantasy setting. Brilliance. Amazon, you could do the same thing. You could just say, hey, look, this is generic medieval fantasy. It doesn't have to be Tolkien. People would eat it up. People would love that. If you did that, it would be amazing. People would be like, look, check out this cool fantasy thing we got. And aren't they doing that with a... It's not that Game of Thrones. They're coming out with a new series, isn't it? But it's it's like it's going to be like a Game of Thrones thing, only it's not Game of Thrones. I could be wrong. I know they're coming out with a new fantasy series. I don't know if it's Game of Thrones or not Game of Thrones, but it, that's my, the impression I get that it's not Game of Thrones, but it's based on Game of Thrones. She stated, to be part of creating accessibility for generations to come, mm -hmm, for new generations, this is their version of Tolkien. This is what my daughter will see of Tolkien's so work. You're not going to share with her the Hobbit films, Peter Jackson films. You're not going to let her read any of the books. Hey, what about the animated films? My introduction to the Hobbit was the animated films. And then there was the uh, Lord of the Rings animated film. What about the books? You're going to let her read the books? This is the one that your daughter will see. Oh, that's right, because your daughter's going to be black, isn't she? This is Queen Princess Disa or whatever. She's black, see? Big, fat black woman. And we're supposed to just be like, she's amazing. You go, girl. Stunning and brave. Stunning and brave. You're a, a giant black walrus. Amazing. The most amazing thing ever in the history of humanity. Giant black female walruses. Just awesome. This is what you're going to show your daughter. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be awesome. Why would you? Uh, just the absurdity. And besides what you know, Tolkien is already accessible for generations. When was the Silmarillion released? In the 1970s. I'm reading it today. I'm going to read some of it later on today. A few pages. That was, that was two generations ago that it was released. And I don't know how to explain this to you other than you're stupid. Namvete then made it clear the Rings of Power is actually an erasure of Tolkien's work and the whole point of the show is to reflect the modern world rather than reflect Tolkien's work. Are you serious? You just admitted that you're vile, evil, disgusting human beings who are piggybacking on the work of other people to push your agenda. My, my critics on the last video said, oh, oh, oh the you know, the trailer's not woke. I don't know what you're talking about. You're just stupid. If you're a stupid YouTuber who doesn't know what he's talking about, jerk. We don't like you because you're white and evil. That's how it works. Go hand in hand. White is, equals evil. They're doing what I said they're freaking doing. She explained it's their time and it's so important. And I hope many people will see this fantasy and be able to relate to it. This is a reflection of the world we live in. There are many and we are different and we will embrace and discover and peel back and learn and educate and be educated and nothing this is the uh, this is garbage this is, this is like the most bitter tasting word salad i've ever eaten it doesn't make any sense and we can only do that when we embrace and love our differences she added then why are you not allowing white people to have their place you're not allowing white people to have a place at all period that's the thing you could have a show that's 100 percent black cast and i'm sure you would say absolutely zero about it it's fine it's all black, fine. Nobody cares. Moving on. But if you have a show that's 100% white and has a reason for it, a good reason. Nope, that's evil. You're wrong. Gnome Betta then asserted to be the poster child and to fly the flag being a mother, being a woman, being a person of color, being a 
curvaceous woman deemed as a thing of beauty is something we don't always see. What? Okay. Well, you know what I am? I am a, uh, a, a person of color. I'm not the same color as you, but hey, I, I have a color. Being a woman. Well, I don't know. Am I a woman? I'm not a biologist. I can't answer that question. Being a mother. Hey, hey, hey. Men can have children these days, I've been told. I could just get pregnant tomorrow and be a mother. I could fly a flag too. Yes, I'm going to fly the flag. <sighs> I'm not fat. I don't know what to tell you. Being, I don't know why you're, you're so empowered by your chubbiness. In fact, you're just a giant blob of Jabba the Hutt. Big fat piece of crap. She's just disgusting looking. Did she see her in that, oh, that interview from Comic-Con? Oh, oh, what are you doing on the screen? Please, no. Please, no. No, be taken away. Where are these people been? I mean, the modern family is depicted on TV. Watch a commercial. It's not white. So that image of Disa, that is all of those things personified in a face, and it happens to be my face, she said. Yeah, it's none of those things, and you're an idiot. And here we go. We have the interracial couple. Notice how the interracial couple, like I always say, is a black man with a white woman. Can't be the other way around because that would be oppressive to black people because of Brefold's law. If you want to breed out a race of people, you go after their women, and they're definitely trying to get rid of white people. It starts with Hollywood. It starts with our artwork. And then it moves on to reality. And it's already, I mean, it's already, it's moved on to reality a long time ago. Ismail Cruz Cordova echoed Novete's claim that the show is an erasure of Tolkien's work, saying the awareness of diversity with Tolkien's original source material has grown. The cinematic world that Peter Jackson created has immense value, and we've shifted lenses since then. Uh-huh. He continued, the conversation is different right now, but going back to the source material the world is diverse, not only in race, but also in thought. No, the world is less diverse in thought now than it has ever been. The fact of the matter is Tolkien's work has already been translated into many different languages and spread across the world. It's one of the most popular books ever. I think it's only second to the Bible, something like that. It is a diverse mix, and now we're just adding people from diverse backgrounds. Cordova added, yeah, it's a diverse mix, all right. Mm -hmm. And what's important is that you're playing a person on the screen. Your diverse background doesn't matter because you're acting on a screen as somebody you're not. You're supposed to be somebody who you're not. doesn't matter what your background is. What matters is can you represent this character, okay? Do you, know, you ever watch The Big Bang Theory? How many of those characters are actually scientists in real life? Me and Bialik has some sort of advanced PhD, but other than that, none of them. They're actors. They act. They pretend to be something they're not. Cynthia Ade Robinson, who plays Muriel, also stated, This cast is truly global. Everyone <laughs> sort of has their frame of reference in terms of their culture, their heritage, what it means to them, their language. Yes, exactly. And like I just said, it doesn't matter because you're playing a character. You're not playing yourself. But this is all about being yourself on the screen. This is the... the uh, Culture of me too, right? This is the, the me also, the me, I'm in this, I'm important, look how great I am. I am this character, not this is a character that I play. The narcissism of our, of our current culture. You know, when Jennifer Aniston did an interview with Oprah Winfrey. Oh, by the way, what did I just say? Oh my, oh, Oprah Winfrey? Oprah Winfrey, isn't she like super black? She's like extra black, isn't she? She was on, I mean, she's not now, she's on Apple TV, but she was on mainstream TV for what, like 25 years or something? Uh-huh, yeah. Black woman, huh? Wow, what do you know? What an amazing concept, black woman. But anyway, she interviewed the cast of Friends after the show ended, and Jennifer Aniston referred to her character Rachel as Rachel. And Oprah was like, oh my, you, you call her Rachel. And she's like, yeah, she's a character. She's not me. She's a character. This generation of actors, actresses, these people today don't understand this. They think they are the actual character that they're playing. Part of the story we are trying to tell is to have people of different races coming together to defeat a common enemy. She explains, you're trying to look at this through a modern lens and the world is global and people now expect to see this kind of world globally. No, they don't. They don't expect to see this kind of world globally represented. Even when I'm seeing different posters popping up, the title of the show is in how many different languages? It's a beautiful thing, she proclaimed. Yeah, it's already been translated into many different languages. I think it's available in nearly every language on the planet Earth where they have printing in their country. I, I, I can't even, I don't even know how I can finish this article. It's One thing is clear, Prime Video and their cast for Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power, do not respect J.R.R. Tolkien's work and are fully embracing its destruction. Unfortunately for them, Tolkien's work still lives on no matter how much Prime Video and Amazon Studios will attempt to distort and malign it in their television series. No, 
this is a, a step that they are taking to get rid of Tolkien's work. This is so important because this is an incredibly popular uh, work of fiction. I, I'm not a huge fan of it, okay? I like the movies, the original movies. I like the Hobbit movie. The, the second one, with the, what is it, Desolation of Smaug? The dragon was amazing, but other than that, it was like, well, what's happening here? This is garbage. And then I barely remember the third one and the, the Hobbit thing. And then um, the animated films were great. Yeah, I can't get into the book. I'm trying. It's, it's a rough read. But that doesn't matter because Del Tolkien has done so much to change the world with what he did. And now we, all, we have to make it diverse and inclusive and destroy it and erase it. They're saying right here, erase it. Get rid of it. We, we can't have it in the world anymore because it's evil Tolkien because e Tolkien was a white man. Go ahead. You know what? Start the race war. That's what they're trying to do. They're trying to start the race war. Trying to get rid of white people. And I wish that more people would open up their eyes and see that's what's happening. Because that is what's happening. And you think the world is going to be a better place without white people? And good luck. Good luck when you see that world happen. When you, when you bring that to fruition. I hope that everything uh, is exactly as you want it to be when you do that. Anyway, thank you for watching. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe. And I will see you in the next video.